Hey, what's up? So today we're looking at some Walmart people. You know Walmart, where the lowest price is the law and there's no dress code at all. You can do whatever the fuck you want there. Hey, what's up? Holy shit, it's a unicorn. I don't care what anybody says, but those are fake. Those are fake. You can just debate it all you want. You can tell me you think otherwise, but unicorns are definitely fake. What the fuck, man? Get your hand out of your wife's pants. I hope that's your wife. It might just be some stranger he snuck up behind. This is not the right time or the right place to be doing the scratch and sniff test. I don't care how itchy your wife's ass is, you don't start digging in there when you're in a public, crowded place. Honey, did I poop myself? Can you just check for me real quick? Oh yeah, sure, yeah, no, sorry baby. Yeah, yeah, you pooped yourself. Oh shit, here's a weird man with a doll strapped to his back. Can we all just agree that he is most likely a serial killer? Definitely 99% he's killed at least one person. Holy shit, take that bag off your head, little girl. Look to your left, lady. Look to your left, your child is playing inside a plastic bag. That's not a toy. And this happens all too often in Walmart. I've seen it before. Here's another one. And she's looking right at her, like, just, yeah, just play in the plastic bag. Don't worry, baby. It's fine. Stop letting your child play in a plastic bag. Are you fucking insane? That's just bad parenting. Take the fucking plastic bag off her head. Holy shit, people. This is just bad parenting. Children are not supposed to play in plastic bags. I figured that out one day when I tripped. I fell in a pile of plastic bags and I almost died. And I was fucking 30. These kids are like five. And who does this? Who takes a raw cob of corn, takes a couple bites out of it, then leaves it on the shelf? Who grabs raw corn and starts eating it inside the store? I bet you it was this guy with the toy strapped to his back. Yeah, he looks like the kind of weirdo that would do that shit. It's like they took two bites and they're like, oh, this shit doesn't taste good raw. What did you think would happen? Just take a couple bites and leave it by the Monopoly. What kind of fucking degenerate does that shit? Oh, and that is just dangerous, all right? You don't stand in a shopping cart. It's very bad. If you're that short, maybe just carry a stool around with you places if you're not going to ask for help. Or just ask someone who's taller than you to help you reach the stuff up there. I used to work in a grocery store, and I saw a kid leaning over a shopping cart before. And he was leaning on the edge, and his weight shifted. The whole thing went down, and he went face first through a display of Kinder Surprise eggs. He went face first through a display of Kinder Surprise eggs. Just smashed his face right in there. And before you tell me I'm a horrible person for standing and watching, I wasn't close enough to grab him, okay? I don't know if I would have, though. Because I kind of wanted to see how it would have played out. I mean, he was asking for trouble. His parents kept telling him not to lean over the edge. And he was like, no, nah, fuck you. I'm a boss. I'll lean over the edge. And then, bam, face planted in some Kinder Surprise eggs. He's all right, though. But his face, it definitely hurt like a bitch. But hey, he learned a lesson. Listen to your fucking parents, kid. You know, from a distance, you might not even be able to tell that's a monkey. You'd probably just think it's her hair. You know, I used to always want to own a monkey as a pet. I thought it'd be such a cool pet until I realized that they like to shit in their hand and scoop it out of their ass and just like whip it at shit. Until I realized that they have to wear diapers all the time and you can't potty train them. They're just going to shit and piss everywhere and there's a high chance they're gonna reach into their diaper and throw shit at you. Monkeys sound like dicks. I don't actually want one anymore. I'll stick with the dogs. That's fine. Here's a naked man walking around Walmart. That probably happens on a daily basis at Walmart. Is this really happening? Yeah, it's happening. It's fucking Walmart, man. You know that anytime you go to shop at Walmart, you're at risk of seeing some sort of nudity. That's the risk you take for good prices. And plus, look at his tan line, man. That guy needs some sunlight on his ass. No wonder he's walking around naked. He's gotta even out that tan. Damn. That hair too long. If they want to have long hair, that's fine. I'm just really hoping that that hair is coming from the back of the head. Because that could be ass hair. You don't know. Maybe they braided their ass hair. They're just into that shit. Mm-mm. I would not be surprised if that was some braided butt hair. Okay, that's just fucking adorable. There's nothing wrong with that picture. That's just cute as shit. I just want to pet his little head. Sir, why are you reaching into my pocket? Because I saw a cute little puppy in there. And I want to pet it. Arizona man carrying handgun and waistband shoots himself in the groin in Walmart meat department. You shouldn't be allowed to own a gun if you're going to point it at your own dick. That's just a bad idea. This is the worst way to holster a gun. You never point a gun at your genitals. Holy shit, and this happened in the Walmart meat department? Someone probably bought your dick thinking it was a sausage, you sick fuck. 